Okay, so without using a calculator, let's see if we can figure out this simple math problem right here. Now, this is a multiple choice question, so we want to uh, figure out which answer is uh, correct or which choice is correct. And the problem is the following. So we have 3 to the 0 power times 8 to the first power. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our choices here. So A is 0, B is 1, C is 3, D is 8, and E is 24. All right, now, even if you don't know the answer, just take a guess. You're not going to be penalized on this little simple question. So put something into the comment section, but hopefully you know the right answer. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we're going to go through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go take a look at the problem again before I show you the actual solution. So here we go. We have 3 to the 0 power times 8 to the first power. Our choice is, again, A is 0, B is 1, C is 3, D is 8, and E is 24. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is the following, D, 8. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional expert in knowing what uh, things are when zero is uh, the exponent. In other words, when we are taking uh, a power where uh, zero, again, is the exponent, so like things like three to the zero power, because this right here is probably uh, the most confusing part of this problem. Now, I'm not gonna tell you the answer right now. Uh, you can probably figure out the answer because we already know the correct choice is D, but uh, this is something you absolutely need to understand in basic math and in algebra, and it's not that difficult, so don't feel bad if you didn't get this right. This is quite simple. And let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so here is our problem. And uh, let's just take a look at 8 to the first, all right? And a quick review of powers and exponents. So 8 to the first means what? It just means uh, 8, effectively, right? Because 8 squared means we're going to multiply 8 by itself uh, two times. So that's 8 times 8, or 64, Okay, so what is like 8 to the 0 or 3 to the 0 equal to? Well, this is quite confusing, and uh, it could be logical uh, where we might be saying to ourselves, all right, well, 3 to the 0 power, uh, maybe that's just 0, okay, because, you know, we have a 0 here. So uh, if this is 0, 0 times uh, 8 to the first, which would be 8, could be 0. So A could be a logical choice, right? So I could see how someone can easily uh, answer uh, that now, some people might say, oh, I think something has to do uh, um, where you have zero power, it's equal to one. So maybe uh, somebody might say, well, this is three maybe to the first. So this is three times uh, three to the first times eight to the first is like maybe 24. Okay. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because for those of you that still have to take math exams and you might be surprised that you will see your answer choice. And when you go uh, to select your answer choice, you're like, oh, there's my answer. I see it, I'm gonna select that. And you just feel so confident about, you know, seeing an A plus at the end of the exam. And then you uh, see, you know, like this C minus, you're like, hey, what happened? I was circling, you know, all day long, you know, oh, there's my answer, there's my answer. And well, the reason why that happens, and of course it happens to all of us, it certainly happened to me when I was a student, when I really didn't study as much as I should have, is that um, math uh, teachers design math exams, especially multiple choice questions, where the answer choices are the result of very common errors or misunderstandings. So just because you kind of recognize your answer doesn't necessarily mean that you know you have the right choice uh, selected, right? The only way you're going to really know that you did this problem right is that, hey, you know, I have the math skills and math knowledge to figure out what's going on here. All right, so really the key here is what is 3 to the 0 power? 
Now, I said not to do this problem without a calculator, but if you do have a calculator and you want to kind of uh, figure this out, here's what you need to do, okay, because the calculator will tell you the correct answer. So you're going to go, depending on what type of calculator you have, you're going to use one of these buttons, either uh, this little upside down V that's called a carrot, or some sort of button like this, Y to the X or X to the Y. That's how you plug in exponents. So you, you'll go like three, Y to the X, you hit that button, then hit zero. And uh, when you hit enter, you should see a lovely one, okay? Anything to the zero power is one. That is the key here. So uh, if you didn't know that, well, now that you know that this is you know, very, very easy, so anything to the zero power is one. So in other words, like x to the zero power is one. Uh, x, y squared plus z to the fifth, all of this to the zero power is one. Okay, so in algebra and dealing with numbers, anything to the zero power is one. That is something that you need to uh, you know, remember, now this becomes a very simple math problem indeed. So let's go ahead and actually do this real quick. So 3 to the 0 is what? Well, it is 1. Okay, and of course, if you didn't know that, now you know that 8 to the 1st is 8. So 1 times 8 is, of course, 8. All right, now this problem really all depended upon your knowledge of, hey, uh, do you know what things are to the 0 powers equal to? Okay, so, uh, you know, a lot of you might be saying, well, if I knew that, I could get this problem right. But in math, there's a lot of simple, basic facts that, you know, a lot of students forget. And when it comes to basic mathematics or just, you know, basic algebra, you have to master the fundamentals, okay? Because if you really don't, you're going to have a lot of gaps in your knowledge and you're going to have a tough time. But fixing these little gaps is not that difficult. And let me give you a couple quick uh, suggestions right now before we wrap up this video. Now, first of all, if you got something out of this little video, even if it was a little bit of entertainment, please consider subscribing. Uh, this really helps this channel out. I am trying to grow. I am trying to make a dent and uh, helping people learn math. There's so many people that don't like math and uh, particularly that think that they are bad in math. That is not the case. People are not bad in math. This is, I've been doing this for decades. There's so many people who are just like, I'm bad at math. There's a lot of negative thinking going on. I am trying to do something about that. And if you're trying to learn math and if you're struggling with math, the number one place you have to start is your mindset. Now, I do get uh, comments from time to time on my videos where people are saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, you know, I don't need all this little commentary, this extra stuff. Just show me the math solutions, you know, get to the point. Well, you know what? I, uh, I would love to, okay? Matter of fact, I'm getting to that. But here is the, your mindset is more important than all the math techniques and methods that I can show you. If you don't have this, and I could show you how to do all sorts of algebra, geometry, trigonometry. It doesn't make a difference. If your mindset is not right, it's just like the information is going to bounce right off. Okay. So if you're struggling with math, you need to change your perception of your ability to learn math. Okay. You got to work hard and you got to get great instruction. Okay. And that's where I really want to help you out. So if you are struggling and uh, you want to kind of relearn some basic math or algebra, let me give you a couple quick suggestions. Now, actually, there is a course. I'm going to put this right here. It's called my Math Foundations course. This is a quick, uh, all these courses, I'm going to uh, leave the links to in the description of this video. But my Math Foundations course is a quick, uh, kind of little mini boot camp, if you will, for basic math. Uh, for those of you that want to relearn math and you totally forgot everything from, you know, percent fractions, that's perfectly fine. Uh, this is the perfect course for you. Uh, you'll strengthen all those fundamentals. And then from there, you can move on to courses like pre-algebra. Okay, so when you're talking about powers and exponents, things like to the zero power, uh, you know, working with uh, all the properties of powers and exponents, well, we're talking like stuff that you start learning in pre-algebra, certainly algebra one. And if you're not a math student, you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you should have saw me way back in 19, oh, I don't know, 68, uh, you know, assuming that, you know, you weren't caught up in all the craziness of the 60s or maybe the 19 or maybe 1975, whatever the case is. For me, that could have been like 1986 uh, or 85. 
doesn't make a difference. A lot of you are outstanding in math, but that was like 40, 50 years ago, 30 years ago, 20 years ago. And you might be saying, you know what? I want to recapture and rebuild my math skills. Well, th th this is the perfect course for you, my math skills rebuilder course. I start with the basics and I go through all this algebra, geometry, and trigonometry. So if you want to kind of rebuild uh, and refurbish uh, your uh, math skills that you worked so hard learning many years ago, that is the course for you. All right, but whatever the case is, if you need help in math, whether it's my program or something else, get the help. Just don't struggle because, you know, things in math that seem complex are oftentimes very simple. Okay, so if this is like, oh, I don't know how to do this problem. Well, it's easy once you know that uh, anything to the zero power is equal to one, then, hey, you can do these problems. So don't make math any harder than it needs to be. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.